Alright, so a couple videos ago, we talked about how the Padres have about $31 million to spend. And then in the last video, I talked about the one trade that the San Diego Padres should make. A trade that would send CJ Abrams to the Cincinnati Reds in exchange for Sonny Gray and Luke Sims. Now this is the follow up to that video, where we'll discuss what the Padres ideal offseason looks like in my head. This video will deal with the one free agent signing the Padres need to make to win the World Series. Now if you haven't seen the previous videos before, go back and watch those or else this probably won't make any sense. But again, considering that the Padres have $31 million to spend, Sonny Gray's contract and Luke Sims' contract constitute $10.2 million and $3 million respectively for 2021. If you take that away from the $31 million that the Padres have to spend, that leaves us with $17.8 million. That's how much the Potters would be able to spend on free agents for 2021 if they made the Sunny Gray deal. So, what should the Potters do with this money? Should they sign JT Real Mundo? Or maybe Masahiro Tanaka? That'd be a good signing. Or maybe they should just bring back a hometown hero named Brad Hand. Yes, I want to see the Padres bring back the hand. Free the hand. Look, if you just hopped on the Padres bandwagon this past season, hey, you do you. But Brad Hand was a beast for the Padres. In 2018, before the Padres traded Brad Hand to the Cleveland Indians, Brad Hand had a 3.05 ERA and 24 saves. Then he went to Cleveland and got even better. In 2020, my dude for real put up a 2.05 ERA. He put up a WOBA that was in the top 2%. He put up a strikeout rate in the top 8% and put up an expected batting average in the top 4%. I think his most impressive stat though is the fact that he didn't give up a single home run. So to pick up Brad Hand, that would be crazy. The question is, how much will that cost the Padres? Well, relief pitcher Liam Hendricks just signed a huge deal, 54 million over three years. That's about 18 million a year. And Hendricks is probably the top of the market so Han's contract will probably be somewhere below that. How much below? Well, if you look at the second highest relief pitcher signing, it's Blake Trinan, and he signed for about $8.75 million per year. And Hand is decently better than Trinan, so Han's contract will have to probably be between Trinan and Hendricks. I'm thinking around $12 million a year. That seems to make sense. If you take that away from the $17.8 million the Padres have remaining, they have $5.8 million left to spend. And you're probably wondering, well, what are they going to do with that extra money? I would love to see them bring back Kirby Yates. I'm a big fan. I think he played injured throughout the beginning of the year, and I think that's why he struggled in the beginning. Uh, I don't think last year was indicative of who he is as a pitcher. And I think it's possible, very, very possible, maybe a 1% chance that the Padres are able to sign him for $5 million. Last season, he had a one-year $7 million contract. And I think considering the bad season he had and the injury, I think maybe there's a chance the Padres could swipe him for five. More realistically, I think it'd be kind of cool to bring in a guy like Tyler Clippard. Last year, he had a deal worth around $2.75 million, and he, he performed pretty well. He put up a Woba in the top 7% and a hard hit percentage in the top 8%. Pretty solid pitcher. And if the Padres can maybe raise his salary from last year a little bit, maybe offer him like $4.8 million for a 2021 season. I think that's a very solid looking bullpen. If you watch the last video and you watch this video, the hypothetical bullpen I built would include Luke Sims, Tyler Clippard, Brad Hand, Emilio Pagan, and Drew Pomerantz. Now that's a solid looking bullpen. Blake Snell might not even have to pitch the third time around. But there's still one more question we have to answer. If I'm presuming we could sign Clippard to a $4.8 million contract and Brad Hand to a $12 million contract, that still leaves us with a solid $1 million to spend. Now what the heck are we going to do with that money? I think the answer is obvious. We pay Yankee Sam 11 for building a World Series champion roster. Leave a comment down below on who you think the Padres should sign. 